Okay, so um, I've given you guys an assignment where you have to do some conceptual modeling based on a character or a theme. So we're going to talk a little bit about how you might do that. Um, I know I gave you the option to use Rhino, but you can also use a conceptual mass in Revit. And um, I do want you to work with these a little bit um, just to get a feel for them. So I'm going to open up one that I've already created. So I'm just going to click on this conceptual mass 01. And I'm going to type ZA and zoom in on this. So basically what I have is a, I've created from basically a cube, I've made um, a couple of extrusions. And one thing that is uh, probably most interesting about Revit is that you can do, you can use parameters and that things are parametrically connected. So for example, I have a depth parameter and a width parameter here, which has allowed me to create types, which I will show you in a minute. And I can come in and I can change these types. So I have type two right now. I can come in and say, I want type three and hit apply. And it'll change the size of that. And it will move around those voids that I've created. So if I go to type one and hit apply, right? type four and hit apply and really type three was the one that was the most. So you can go in and do these different sizes. I can also create a new type so I could come and create a new type and give it a name and then I could give it a new size. So I could say 15 by 40. Okay, now there's one that's 15 by 40, right? So it's, it's updating those depth and lengths. And then also I can come in and this spline that has this extrusion, um, it's a sweep that goes along these profiles on these splines is creating this void form. So I can come in and say, pick one of these guys and I can move it, all right? And you're gonna see the entire, you can see the whole void moving, all right? So it's gonna update that void as I move that piece, all right? It takes it a little while, you can see it moving, but it is doing it. And then I also have, you know, a couple of other things going on in here that are creating, you know, other voids. There's another sort of void going through there. The other thing that you can do, which is kind of fun too, is you can come in and pick pieces of the original object and move those around, right? And so it'll move in and do various things, right? So it's a fairly complex uh, modeler, and we're going to talk about how you can go in and create something like this. And what I'm going to want you guys to do is sort of begin to model and use this uh, method to go in and create sort of that thematic volume that we talked about before, okay?